All right, welcome to the first episode of the Hipster Woodsman Podcast. I'm Joseph, a.k.a. Hipster. I've got my co-host here with me, Adam Thornton. He thinks he's a woodman part of this thing, but hmm. uh, I, don't, I don't know so much. I'm definitely not the hipster. This, uh, <laughs> this podcast is, is going to be about a, a couple of different things. Uh, we're going to talk a little bit of duck hunting. We're going to talk a little bit of photography and, and a little bit of, you know, in between. We, we don't really have a, have a set preference on, on where we want this to go. So hopefully you'll enjoy the, the conversations we have with people and, um, you know, listen in with us. All right, well, we have a, we have a uh, special guest with us today. Um, his name is uh, Christian Dubois. Dubois. Uh, this uh, young man is from uh, Louisiana, and he, he, he really doesn't need an introduction. If you've seen him on Instagram, you know how good he is. I think he's one of the most underrated uh, photographers in, in the waterfowl game. So um, without further ado, Christian, you with us? up guys hey man glad to have you on yeah i appreciate y'all taking a little time out your day to talk to somebody like me so so tell me a little bit about you i, I know you work offshore some and, and i know you're a photographer the other half but that's really that's really the only thing that i know well <clears throat> yeah i do i'm a decent mechanic i work uh i work on the rig on the flat farm and uh, my 14 days off, uh, I have a wife, beautiful wife. I, I way I kicked my coverage with that one. And I got <laughs> two beautiful kids that I somehow made. And uh, and yeah, and go ahead and go ahead and go ahead and let the world know out. that uh, those two beautiful kids is about to be three. Am I right? That's right. We got number three on the way. Congratulations, man. Yeah, uh, man, that's awesome. Myself, you, man. myself, I've got four, so go ahead and tell that beautiful wife of yours that you got to have one more in the, in the tank so you can catch up with old Adam over listen, here. Listen, listen. I'll tell you. <laughs> Christian. Man, you're going to have a tough time convincing her for that one, but I I, I'm telling you. I'm telling you right now, Adam's Adam's wife absolutely hates him. Yeah, she does. Yeah. The yeah. fourth the fourth <laughs> one just at, just – she hates him now. <laughs> so if I were you, I would just stick with the. Well, yeah. She wasn't gonna make it without you. Oh man! <laughs> but no. When uh, so? What's the uh, what's what's the due date right now? When, when we gonna have a new baby? December seventh. Oh wow! So you'll be you might get that yep, that first uh, that first split in then. Yeah, I, uh, I'm actually going up. I usually travel quite a bit, just during the season. But this year, I, I kind of figured out that I know I'm not going to be traveling as much. But uh, I got a trip planned in October to Saskatchewan. And then other than that, I'll probably just be hanging around and traveling where I can. So so tell me about Saskatchewan. Are you going with an outfitter? Are you going, you know, as, as with a bunch of no, buddies? No, man, I'm going, uh, I'm going with a buddy of mine. He's been going for quite some time now. And, uh. I was actually on the Big Honka podcast quite a while back, and they had asked me, like, where would you like to hunt? You know, blah, blah, blah. And I said, man, Canada, that's a bucket list for me, you know. My buddy called me up. He's like, dude, you never hunted Canada? I was like, no. I'm like, I live in South Louisiana. All we got is alligators and <laughs> women with three with three teeth. And uh, so I, he's like, bro, he's like, you need to come. I was like, all right, well, let's line it up. So he brings, I think, four guys a year. They have their own place to go to and the whole night. I don't know a whole lot of details about it. But I told him, I said, make sure, get me some dates, and I'm going to put in vacation if I need to. And that was quite a while back. So everything's all lined up, and we're just waiting on go now. Yeah, that's, Man. that's that's a bucket list for I, for ninety nine percent of the of the yes. waterfowl guys. And I, last year, I was lucky enough to to mark that off my list too. Um, Kent and uh, Stoger sent us out to Canada for um, like a media day, and um, you know they Dude. gave us they gave us guns and shells, and you know they kind of uh, paid for the whole thing, man. And it was I'm telling you, it was. It, it it was enough to make me want to try to make a trip every every other year at least. Um, it's, That's hard to beat. No, it, it is, man. And I, and I was I was real lucky, but I'm telling you, it's it, 
it's not going to be the same when you get back. Like it's, <laughs> it's a whole different type of, oh, of hunting out there. Man, Louisiana in the past has had some real good hunting down here, and it's slowly started to dwindle off. You got your off years and your on years, and they got people that cry about this and that. And they have high fly, all kind of theories about why the ducks aren't here anymore, but that's for another day. But, uh, <laughs> dude, I've been gone in Kansas the past couple of years with Cody and Chase over at Foul Plains, and, dude, I get back here, and I'm like, I don't even uh, – I go shoot a few wood ducks and I'm satisfied. I'm like, I, I'm not even, I don't even want to try to duplicate what they have up there. See, man, that's that's how we are. We don't, yeah. we 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 don't even go. Really. No, I mean, be, being in Georgia, we we go on a you know we go on a wood duck shoot for 15 minutes at daylight. You know, sometimes we get lucky and get into some mallards, but yeah, for the for the most part, Georgia Georgia duck hunting is is non-existent. No, you know? no, man, you've got to come out with us this year to Arkansas. Yes. We keep saying dude, that every year. Dude. I know. And now, I, what's always killed me before was the, my schedule, because I was always working for a service company. Mm-hmm. So, dude, I didn't know when I was going to go to work, when I was coming back. But now I landed a job where I have a set schedule. I have 14 days off to do whatever I want. And thankfully, my wife understands the chaos during hunt season. So, it, it all worked out. Well, and, and now, with a, with a new baby going, this year, we may not be able to work it out this year, but we we definitely have to soon. I know last year you and I talked several times and tried to tried to work something out, and it just it just didn't materialize. Oh, we'll but make it work. Yeah, we've, we just might uh might have to let a little lady tag along. Hey, hey, they, nothing wrong with that. We we've done that many a time. That's, that'll that'll be my that'll be my outlet this year. Emmy will probably have to come on most trips to give her mama a break, but. Well, and and I will say, I will say, Christian, your your relationship with your daughter is amazing. Uh, that's kind of Joseph and I were talking be- before the show, and you know, you're quickly becoming. And people tell Joseph this all the time when we're at boat ramps or at Max or, or whatever, and they kind of they hint at Joseph that that people can know his photos before they even see who posted it. You know, before they see his name, and you're getting to be the same way. Right. I mean, whether it's now, yeah, obviously sometimes it's pictures of Emmy, but your pictures of Merle and. You're taking you take two of the I think the purest things with waterfowl hunting between kids and dogs and dude you're you're absolutely killing it and I, I just I think it's fantastic. You about summed up my life with those three words: waterfowl <laughs> hunting, kids, and dogs. Heck yeah! I don't know what else there is. <laughs> I mean that's now look hey I got to give credit where credit's due. My wife is a saint putting up with me during hunting season because a lot of it is last minute stuff and I've gotten better at, at letting her know ahead of time but a lot of times somebody will call hey dude we got birds here he's coming and my, my it's gone pay the bag, she knows, she knows. <laughs> man we're the same way it's not I think it's with everybody that's you know that's into it for the long run anyway well, and Christian me and you have that in common my wife's the same way I mean I don't I don't know how I pulled this woman 20 years ago and how she's still with me but she hates him I'm telling you but Joseph is about to be a newlywed Joseph's getting married this fall and so, and so he's gonna finally I understand I didn't put my foot down how did uh how did he land a pretty woman like that? I, I I still haven't figured it out. I mean, all I can think is he's I, I, I can't say it, but but I know that's not the truth either. So, but no, Joseph, uh, he he's the same as me. You know, he, Courtney is a is a sweetheart, and I don't know what in the world she's doing with him. But she ran out of options. <laughs> she's getting older. She she's says she's got to do it now or she's never. Getting she's getting older. <laughs> I'm not dumb. I know how this works. Oh, Oh man. man. So okay, look, Christian, man, I got a couple questions for you. Um, just to kinda you know, just to kinda get out there to the audience and kinda learn about you a little bit and what you're about. Um I guess my the, the question that I get asked a lot is is what got you know, what what got you into photography? I mean, like what was your drive in that direction? And especially for the outdoor field. Uh, yeah. Well my wife a lot of people don't know that. My wife is a photographer. That's what she does for a living. And uh, now that she's had the babies and stuff, and she doesn't work anymore, so she's trying to dwindle me off with her photography. And one day I just picked up her camera and I started trying to mess with it. And she was like, uh, 
I told her, I want to learn how to shoot pictures with a camera. And she was like, you get frustrated too easy. There's no way. Blah, blah, blah. <laughs> I said, well, I said, I'm going to try. Well, I started tagging around. My buddy Brandon Matthew, you might know Brandon. Mm-hmm. But uh, he got into it pretty heavily. And he and I went to uh, Southern Oak Kettles, me, Barton, and the crew, and Rock House and I was there. And I was like, man, I'm starting Dude, it got to what I know now is golden hour. It just, at the time, there was a time of the day, and these guys started running around like lunatics with these cameras, laying on the ground, making them do this. I mean, throwing dust in there without giving away all their secrets. <laughs> I was like, wow. It's like, dude, what, what is going on? And then they started playing these pictures up on the big screen in Barton. I was like, oh, my God. I said, this is incredible. And I knew, like, oh, I said, man, I could do this. I said, I told myself right there, I said, I could do it. I could learn these. I could learn a camera. I know I can. So I started trying, and uh, I guess it's uh, catch twenty two. I know most people start. They start like shooting an auto or whatever. Well, no, my wife. I went to my wife for a class and taught me manual because that's how I shoot. I'm like, okay, the next thing is I can catch on to that. And once I figured it out. I was like, oh, yeah, I could, I could do it now. But if anybody takes anything from it, set yourself, set some goals for yourself. Right. And uh, that, that's what I, I started with. I wanted I wanted to learn a camera. I wanted to have pictures published for a major outdoor company, whether it be a website, a magazine, you know. I guess social media is not such a big thing. And uh, then I wanted to work for a major outdoor company, taking pictures. And, uh, dude, I just put my nose down. And I started started at it, and I kept trying and kept trying and kept trying. And then finally, Bill, with uh, works at Bandit and Avery, gave him a shout. And, dude, it's the rest of history. Man, that's awesome. I remember my first, you know, a gig like that it was with uh tangle free and yeah. we have a lot in common with that because thomas was was the uh was the main guy for that and i think he's exactly. i think thomas he's done a big time too. yeah man thomas is like i don't know he's like the godfather of like <laughs> outdoor creators in in the waterfowl industry he 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 <laughs> yeah. he nurses yeah. you he, he like you know he he gets you going and he gets you with these he's like a free agent i don't know he's yeah he's like a he's manager like a, like to a free agent, agent. Yes. yeah i mean it's yep. like it, it's it's wild how he dude he cares so much it's it's kind of you know thomas is thomas we we love yep. thomas yeah, he's almost like a like a big brother he figure. is like a big brother yeah. man if it wasn't for him not, i mean yeah we wouldn't be having this conversation right now at all i, I don't think um Okay, cool, man. No, so, absolutely not. So my, the, you you answered one of my other questions. I, I was I was going to ask you what kind of goals you had, but you know, the, I think a lot of us, you know, have the same goals when it comes to the photography side of that. Um, my w- what I want to know is what kind of camera equipment do you use? I shoot a uh, a disposable. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> uh, I shoot. I shoot a Nikon D750, which is the camera I originally started with, and uh, now I upgrade it to a Nikon D850. Ooh, okay. And I still use both of them, but uh, I guess I don't know if it's I don't know if it's uh, arrogant to say it, or I don't even know how to explain it and sound somewhat humble. But I think I kind of like my skill set outgrew what I wanted to do with my 750. Oh man, it, it, it always does. does. It, it always does. I mean, yeah. I, I remember, I remember when I first started. Like, uh, you know, I, my background is is wedding photography, and then I moved into wedding films, and then into the outdoor industry. And um, man, my my first my first camera was from Best Buy. I paid six hundred bucks for it, and then you know everybody thought I was insane for spending six hundred dollars on a camera. Like, who does that? Oh God. Dude, that camera has no. that camera has paid for itself. I, I'm probably a thousand times over right now. I mean, for oh, talk, yeah. the 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 wet and not in the outdoor industry, but in the wedding industry, and you know this from from your wife is. Oh yeah. Dude, oh yeah. I mean, 
you can work for a year and, and almost drive a Bentley. Like, it's insane. And I'm not saying everybody that's listening go out and buy a camera and try to do wedding photography because some, some brides. Oh, it's a grind, dude. It's, it is a grind. <laughs> it's not always easy, but, I mean, it is um, – I, I was lucky to, to get in when I got in at the right time. And um, it, it's, you know, I'm, I'm thankful for having that kind of background. But so what, um, what, what lenses do you use? I mean, are you a prime lens guy? Are you a zoom guy? I mean, I can't, Dude, I can't really I'm tell from your a, photos. I'm a little bit of everything. Okay. I, I have a, uh, shoot. I like the Sigma art lenses. Mm-hmm. It's just, and to be honest with you, that's just what my wife had when I started, so that's what I stuck with. Oh, dude, they're great lenses. And, uh, I, I think I have, I think yeah. I have one of each. Yeah. <laughs> I've, I've, I've had or have one of each. I shoot. Uh, I have a twenty-four to seventy f four that I shoot a Sigmar that I shoot a lot with. Yep. Uh, it's a pretty quick lens. It catches on pretty good. Uh, a lot of my better photos of Merle have come with, come from like a 200 to 500 Nikkor. See, uh, man, I would never, I would never have guessed that lens selection from looking at your photos. Which Dude, now, now, great. now that you say that, I do kind of see it. The, and this is all technical terms. I mean, a lot of people may not understand, but uh, right, right. You, you, you know, like I'm a I'm a one four guy. I love that that you know, that shallow depth of field. And you can achieve that same look with your lens that you're using when it's zoomed out. So, yeah. and I see, I see now in your photos, then I'm thinking about it, that that's where that's coming from. See, I thought you maybe were a prime lens guy. I am. The, the one I, that I posted earlier of, uh, Emmy and Merle playing in the yard. I shot that with a 135 prime. Okay. Okay. And I, and, and and just just me being selfish, Christian. I wish you would shoot nothing but Emmy and Merle just playing every day. I mean, that, it's just the pure joy of that girl. Dude, that's, that's I, I can't wait nothing. to share a duck blind with that girl one day. She's sitting in the back seat right now. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe we should interview her. She's yeah. the, she's the one getting Instagram famous, not you. <laughs> Oh, dude. She's going to open up a can of worms. Girl, I can talk. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, man. Emmy, tell, tell Mr. Joseph and Mr. Adam hi. Hi. Hey, Miss hey. Amy. Dude, that's awesome. <laughs> that is. Yep. So, tell so. Him, tell them what, what we went to. Tell them what we went to. Where we just come from. Talk loud. Oh. I mean the the pictures of her helping helping you skin deer. I mean that's just, dude. That girl ain't scared of dude, nothing. No man. Oh God, no. And my two year old is gonna be even worse. She's no. gonna be the one I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have to have some game warden business with. Bro, let me tell you what. That girl is scared. That's what me and Adam were just talking yeah. about. His little girl came up here a while ago, and I'm like, she walked out, and I was like, dude. Yeah, I'll, I'll bail her out of you're jail. You're gonna bail her out of yeah. jail more than once. No probably. doubt about it. I'm, yeah, that's... yeah. Emmy, uh, Emmy's my rule follower. She, she'll follow the rules. If I tell her we gotta stop at six ducks, she's gonna stop. Matt is gonna shoot fifteen. And right. <laughs> that, that's Matt. Uh, that's my two year old. Oh, that is. Oh, that's, that is that's, that's cool. That's cool, man. That's awesome. So, so talk, talking about kids. I mean, what do you, you know, what is your advice you would give somebody that's that's kind of younger and and um, coming up in the in the outdoor world as far as like this creative side. I mean, I, I'm sure you get messages, you know, a lot about, you know, what camera to use, what um right. What advice just what advice would you give? I, I don't mine is always it's it's I, I try to be I try to be very upfront with everybody and let them know that it's not an easy thing to be a part of on a full-time right. level Correct. and, and I, I try to uh i always tell people to start with a budget yeah me and, too uh, that's right a budget a budget is a big thing but if you don't have a budget dude i, I, I 750 i don't know canon canon cameras because i've never shot with one yep and uh I, I, 
people ask me, like, man, what about a cat? I'm like, dude, I wish I could help you. I just really have no idea what I'm doing with one. <laughs> so I really can't help. You know, the, the, and, uh, a lot of them are the, t- to me. It's it's Ford and Chevrolet. Yeah, it's a it lot is. of them are the same. I mean, I, I started on Nikon. And to me, personally, and I think your pictures vouch for this, I think Nikon is a better photography camera. But when Dude, you... Dude, I've been told that too. Yeah, and, and to me though, when you do dual, like when you do video and photography, you don't want to have money tied up in a video camera or you don't want to have money tied up in just a photography camera. So Canon, it, to me, is a solution for both of those that I can get out and Correct. boom, boom, and have right. both at the same time. But... I still think Nikon, photography-wise, is such a better camera. And your pictures are a testament to that, I think. I appreciate that, man. Yeah, man. Dude, I, and I, you and Adam talk me up so much, but bro, really? <laughs> I, like I, I joke about it, I tell people, I, I'm just a coon ass with a camera. Hey, you, and you are. You are, but, that is true. But on, on that note, Christian, <laughs> I mean, how... <laughs> How long have you been shooting now? When did you pick up the, your wife's camera the first time? I mean, how much experience do you really have? Two years. April, two years See, ago. and that's, that's crazy. But, but Joseph, I, and Joseph's rolling his eyes at that, but Joseph's the same way. No, that's a lie. I have been doing this for over 10 years. 10 years. And here's the, th- here's the sad part about this. I'm seeing guys like you, Christian, surpass me. With with minimal to no experience, <laughs> like I, you I'm, don't understand the fire you just lit in this guy's no, ass. I'm, like he's mad I'm right serious. now. <laughs> and I'm serious. And you know when I wrote that message, <laughs> when I wrote that message on Instagram the other or uh, Facebook the other day, I, dude, I was being serious. Like you are. Um, dude, I appreciated that. I even told my wife about it. I was like, man, this guy used to follow, and I like I followed you for so long, and then I people like you. I mean, Sam Kitchens, yes. uh, yeah. Matt White, the Rock House crew. That's the kind of people, way you make it. That's the kind of people that push me that I still talk to is like, you know, that push me to, to do what I do now. And, Dude. man, for you to say that, I was told at least I cried a little bit. No, I'm just, I didn't cry. <laughs> I, told, <laughs> I told at least, I was like, man, this is, this is all. I, Dude, I didn't, I, I wasn't trying to do it for fame or – Anything like that. I just enjoy taking pictures and being oh. able to do it. And now that I've gotten somewhat decent at it, I, mean, I just, I don't feel like, like, I don't feel like I'm better than anybody else doing it. No, if, no. If I, could help, if I could help somebody out to do it, I'm going to help out. Man, I got two or three of my good buddies that I can name off the top of the list right now. Uh, Brent Kimbrough is one of them. I'm not gonna, not gonna say I coach Brent, but me and him had quite a few conversations about just different how to do different things. And I'm like, dude, look, I'm no technical guru. I know what works for me, so try it. And then he's gotten very good. And my buddy Shane uh, Fontenot, he's from down here, and dude, me and him hunt together, we fish together, and that dude has gotten so good with the camera over the past, you know, couple months. And that's what I want. I want to be able to – I don't want to take it and then try to get better than somebody. I want to take it and just help as many people as I can because I know I had to reach out to everybody for help, you know, and I still do. See, man, that's that was that's one of my biggest things. When I, when I first got into it, man, it was like a secret cult. Like nobody would help you. Nobody would um, – Nobody would give you advice on anything. So you had to learn on your own, you know. And, and I told myself then, if, if if I ever get good enough to where people think that it's decent and somebody asks me, I'm going to get – it's like I'm going to give you all my hunting spots. Like I, I want you to be successful at this just like I am. I am Like – and it's Adam. Adam's he's, – he's picked up a camera now. I mean, I've got a couple other guys, Dakota and Cody, and, you know, they all pick up cameras and – yeah, uh, my buddy Tyler at Timber Creek, he's taking his own photos now with a camera. I mean, camera. Th- this, there's so much money involved in the photography world that I think there's enough for everybody. There is, and I, and I think too on that point though, there's such a, it's it's like Christian was talking about setting a budget. 
if you look from the outside looking in, you know, I look at Joseph, you got a Canon 5D Mark IV, and I look one of those things up, and it's like, you've got to be kidding me. You don't have to have that camera to shoot some of the stuff that, that you shoot. No. Yes, no. you do. <laughs> yes, you but, do. Uh, but Courtney, for, but, yes, you but, do. But for, <laughs> yeah, don't tell his wife. But for somebody on the outside, you know, that, that is looking to get started, like you said, you know, pick a budget, get a camera, get good on it. When you outgrow it, then, then you know, start looking to upgrade right. but, absolutely that's but it's it's no different than than us you know talking in duck hunting somebody just want to get started in duck hunting you start going and buying waders and decoys and guns and it's just it's overwhelming but you can ease your way into something and and as you outgrow it then you Correct. then you move on to the next so youth would work what yes get better what you type of better upgrades sorry I didn't, mean, I didn't mean to cut you off you good? You good? <laughs> what uh, I just I, we were somebody said duck hunting just now, and I was like, oh, this is uh, we're gonna try to talk about ducks yeah, too. Yeah, yeah. Um, <laughs> what kind of what kind of hunting do you like mainly do down in your? Area? I hear that he's a, a spec man. Are you really, dude? I we spec hunt quite a bit down here. I have a couple. I grew up uh in Kaplan and uh, spec hunting. I was predominantly what we did and uh dude you know, i just picked up a spec call when i was young my grandpa taught me how to blow one and he, he he uh -huh. well listen i need you to and, come uh, i need you to come to arkansas <laughs> and blow a spec oh, call for I, us <laughs> i've killed my fair i've killed my fair share of arkansas specs too man they're so good oh my I'm, gosh no don't 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 say like, it. i'm starving right now yeah. just thinking about it Dude, I was about to say, it's one thing to shoot them, but you need to let me cook them for you. Dude, the, the first time I had spec, it was just a, just a few years ago. Tell we, them, tell we, them about we it. We were out, and, uh, you know, we're used to being in Georgia. We kill Canada's. And I'll be honest with you, I'm not wild right. about eating Canada's. We'll make some jerky out of it or something. But we were having a few bever yeah. beverages one night around the fire, and a guy threw some specs on the grill. And But I'm going to tell you right now, Christian, I don't know that you could, that the average man could tell the difference in a spec and a deer backstrap. What? I mean, oh, I, I, Look, I mean, it, hold it, on a minute. <laughs> <laughs> go ahead and tell us. Go ahead and tell us that we're wrong. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> wrong. That's wrong. I'm telling you, dude. That spec was absolutely fantastic. I tried to tell him. I'm like, Adam. Dude, I'm telling you. Hey, it, I'm gonna tell you a quick story one time. No, it's not specs, but it was teal. I had a buddy of mine, Miles. You ever seen me post about my little dog, Cash? Yes. Yep. Miles, one of my best friends, he trained my old dog, Cash. And uh, one night we were over here at the house, and I I cooked some, uh, some teal in a gravy in a black iron pot, and I used a little secret sauce in there. And uh, Miles started eating Dude, before you know it, I think my wife or somebody came in to say something. We we're trying to have a conversation. This dude did not say a word. He had <laughs> sauce dripping from his arms. <laughs> like a goddamn barbarian. He was like, what is it? What is it? And I'm telling you, ever since then, I've been using the same little secret sauce. And it's, uh, you throw that. Uh-oh, the two-year-old just came out of the house. mm, -mm. You throw you throw that sauce into a uh, into a spec pot, dude. It is on. Well, I, I think that we need the next time we have you on needs to be in person, possibly even in South Louisiana, eating some fresh specs. I like that. Off idea. the grill, like of Mr. Christian Dubois. My man cave is open twenty four seven. I love that, dude. Idea. I I would love love to get down there sometime and and hang with you. And I'm fixing to add a. Uh, I'm fixing to add a bathroom to it, too, so y'all can come, and we'll make it happen. You had me at hello. Yeah, we'll be there. I'm all about traveling to different places, man. That's my favorite thing to do. It really is, and and we would like to branch out more with our hunting. You know, obviously, we're we're Arkansas every year, and, and but, you know, the, the more diverse – Something just keeps drawing us back to Arkansas. It is Arkansas, but we, we would love to get out and, and experience some new places. Dude, yeah, I need to come down here. I, I, I got to – I got, I got to hunt with um, Gator Tail. You, you know Jared? Um, I can't ever say uh, this. Sing Cassian or Tassin? 
No, he works for Gator. Derek Green. Derek Green. Yes, yes. I can't ever say his last yeah. name. So I know, I know of him. I don't think I've ever met him, but I know of him. So he, um, he lives like near. You know where Chalmette is? Yeah, that's right down the road. Okay, so so we came and done a like media day with Gator Tail uh, outboards, um, with right. him with him, and dude. That's like the homeland down there for like all outdoor activities. We and, and this is all in the same day. We went teal hunting. Um, we caught redfish and flounder. This is all in the same day. Like we're it's like a casting blast. <laughs> yeah. It is. It, it was is. so That's fun. Ninety percent of what you could do down here is exactly what you just said. Man, I'm jealous. We don't have anything here other than No, we don't. Cows. Yeah. And, carp- yeah, and carpet. And carpet. The, hunting, the, duck hunt, <laughs> the duck hunting is hit and miss. Hey, my, hang on a second. My, is- hang on a second. My favorite thing about you, your kids, your family, they call you Papa. Do they? <laughs> yes, he is Papa, yeah. and I think that is fantastic. I appreciate that. <laughs> <laughs> I had a buddy of mine growing up. His kids would call him that, and I kind of, I was like, man, that is the greatest thing. And I started calling my dad that. I called him Pop, and then kind of just moved on. Now is that is that what your and wife calls, calls you too? Does she does she call you Papa? Mine calls me asshole. So, oh, uh, she <laughs> calls me all kind of stuff. <laughs> I love it because it's true. It is. This is the truth. She hates it. She, <laughs> she calls me all kind of stuff. She hates him so bad. Oh, gosh. Oh, man. Well, dude, we won't keep you. We know you got things going on, and, 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 and I just oh, wanted to. I know, man. I, I wanted to keep it short and, you know, kind of get our foot wet with this whole podcast thing, and, I, you know, I thought there's really not anybody better than I, I'd rather have than you on the on the first one. To man, kinda, you don't know how much I appreciate that. Dude, I, I appreciate sure, you, man. I'm sitting outside. I got about, I don't know, 40 brim or so in this ice chest. I got a cold beer, and I'm about to start cleaning. See? You, you are living the life. You man. are living the life. I love it, man. I'm going to make Emmy clean them, actually. There you go. There you go. <laughs> well, Christian, we're definitely going to have you back on sometime soon. Uh, congratulations on, on everything. Congratulations, first and foremost, to you and your wife on, on another baby on the way. Uh, congratulations on – on, on your rise in the in the outdoor photography game, I you know Joseph and I were both being Big completely fans. candid, one hundred percent honest with you, dude. You are, it's not going to be long, and you're going to be at that level and above the, the the level of a lot of guys you mentioned. Uh, you are highly underrated, and I don't think it's going to stay that way for for very long at all. I hope not. Ah uh, man, I appreciate that more than you know, dude. You're welcome. But, brother, don't be afraid to give us a shout. Let's talk again sometime soon. Oh, and yeah. uh, and God bless you and your kids, and y'all have a good evening, brother. Yep, same here, man. One last thing. Yeah, Adam. go for it. Go, go Tigers. Oh, my God. Oh, God. Oh, my God. Get him out of here. <laughs> Hang up the phone on that kid. I'll see you later, Christian. <laughs> see you, Christian. Thanks, brother.